Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch in his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in the zone. Everything he threw was just landing. <laughs> Some big shots too. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. That was lightning fast. That right in. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Adesanya is able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. All right, well, we have the best cut men and women in the business, and they are going to have some work to do if we get back to the stools. This thing is nasty. It's nasty. I mean, it's hard to watch this guy rely on the toughness, knowing that his opponent will not relent. His opponent will not give him any. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Oh. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next opponent, it actually has some meaning to it. Adesanya's a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Dana White's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Well, the last dial bender's got it going here tonight, DC, as he... Oh, he's in real trouble now. Nice counter left there. Under two minutes to go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, good back and forth action, but they pause things here, DC. They're gonna call in the ringside position and take a look at what is a nasty cut. Well, he's gotta check on it, because you don't know if the fighter's gonna be able to continue. Fighters always want to fight, but it's up to the ringside position to tell them if they're capable of it. Yeah, that's gonna yeah. do it. Fans don't like it, an unfortunate ending to a great fight, but you had to do it. He's disappointed, but I mean, he got beat up, lived to fight another day, I think the official saved it. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Dana White. Well, perhaps it was a case of be careful what you wish for. Everybody wants to throw him.